let's just talk for a minute about heart health. What are some of the common things that people encounter when they get worried about heart health? Try those rights, yes. Anything else? Blood pressure. Let's talk about cholesterol, blood pressure, that's right. You know, those are some of the things. Cholesterol seems to be the number one thing, because it's cholesterol that gets oxidized into plaque that starts clogging your arteries, and which is why you have heart disease. But before it gets to your arteries and clogs it up, there's this whole process of where cholesterol comes from. Where does cholesterol come from? Food. Food? Absolutely right, Marilyn. Your body, your body makes, makes most of it. You always think about food first. Two-thirds of the cholesterol that ends up in your arteries is made by your own liver. You only eat one-third of it. The two-thirds depends on your hereditary factors, your family history, and how much they were, how much cholesterol your liver is going to produce. But still, you know, that you have very little control over. There's some genetic expressions that you can still control because of lifestyle. You know, if you were walking, you're active, that can be under control. But this one third is also a big number that you can actually control. So how do you control it? Don't eat cholesterol containing foods. You know, that's easier said than done, right? <laughs> if you're adding the all natural fiber to something, it's good to have it a little before or with a meal. What that does is it'll absorb the cholesterol, it'll bind the cholesterol, so it doesn't get uh, absorbed in your body. Another product that is very important for that is garlic. Garlic can sequester dietary cholesterol, so it's not going to be absorbed. It also helps lower blood pressure. So garlic is not just a digestive health product or an antimicrobial, it's a great heart health product. So it can help there. So between the two of them, and then I'm also going to talk about this lipotropic agent in a little bit, but just let's focus on cholesterol for a second. Between the two of them, even if you ate cholesterol, they can keep it from being absorbed in your body. Let's say you did not take, you forgot your garlic, you forgot your fiber, now you have cholesterol in your blood. Is it all downhill from there? No. Still not. Still not. Target levels for blood pressure, for fasting blood glucose, cholesterol, HDL, LDL, and then triglycerides. These are target healthy levels. We have these slides available, so if you need this information, you can get this afterwards as well.